Hey guys, this is Rob from Classic Car Living. Today we are hanging out with the VWs here at Shorty's in Miami. Let's go take a look at these cars and meet some of these folks. Hey, my name's Caesar. This is my six door thing that I put together with a few friends about, I think it was last year. Basically, those three cars that we found that are getting junked came up with a crazy idea. And out of the three cars, we sectioned it out to the pieces that were still usable and we came up with this. A bunch of parts were donated from the guys in the club, which helped out. Everything's out, out, you know, we shot it from the hip. So, you know, the front end basically is all three cars put together. Some pieces were good, some pieces were bad. We dissected all three. I first built the front end. Mm -hmm. Since it's so long, it didn't fit in my garage, so I had to build and fix all the major rust on the front half. But when I finished with the front half, I started working on the rear half. Uh -huh. And then we had to come up with a plan, uh, reinforce it without it being exposed right. and putting it together. So what'd you do, man? So all the reinforcements are inside the, the rockers. There's a three and a half by three and a half inch square post that goes from the front to the back and a two inch on the top. And it's all welded together. So how long is this whole thing? It's about 16 feet long. Wow. It's 30 inches longer than our original one, which basically is just this whole section here is was extended. Gotcha. The good thing about these cars, that the front door is the same as the back door. Talk uh, to me about that interior. Well, the interior, obviously there's no roof. Right. So you need something that's that holds up to the weather. I was eating breakfast with my wife at a Cuban restaurant. Uh -huh. And next door was a little Cuban store. And they were selling rocking chairs. Or is this the one on Flagler? Or no? Yeah. Because there's a Flagler 107. That's they it. have that place here. They, they have, have a the place. How funny. So I was like, that's it. So I went and searched the manufacturer. Uh huh. Which, where would you find something like this made by a Cuban? Hialeah. Right. No way. That's awesome. So I found the place, Hialeah. I went to the owner. Uh huh. Uh, I, I gave him my idea. He looked at me like I was crazy. Uh huh. And I showed him the car. And he was, you know, he was all in. That weekend, we're off to the show in Daytona, where I got promoter's choice, and we were first place for the limbo contest at the gate hence, with this car. Hence the uh, limbo bimbo? Yeah. And why VW? Well, when we were in school, we had no money. So back in the 80s, these cars, they did give them to you. You buy them for a couple hundred bucks. They were easy to fix up. The parts were cheap. So, you know. It becomes an addiction. And you were telling me you started your club back in 1986? Back in 86. What's me the name a, of your club? Miami V Dubs. How does it make you feel, man, when you drive this thing around? Oh, like a million bucks. You know, some people see it as, as drunk, but to me, it's it's fun. It's all about fun. It's not about the money. My name is Atomic Abel. This is my 1965 Volkswagen. Tell me a little bit about the car. Found this from a local guy, Richie. He has a few cars. It's been through a few hands. Uh, 1200 motor, 1200 cc. Um, How was the condition of the car when you got it? The condition was the same. We added some racing stripes, we've added some modifications to the engine, but otherwise it's the same as it came off the factory floor. As you can see, it's been lowered. So we did this recently so we could uh, do some racing propaganda. <laughs> Uh, competition to some Herbie cars that are local. I was going to say. Everybody likes say. those, but we had to kind of uh, expand on the playing field. This is a sea blue. They call it sea blue. Is this a, an original color? It's or an original it? color. Sea blue. S-E-A-B-L-E-U. Talk to me a little bit about those back wheels, man. So here we have a, a modified rim where they get the original rim. They uh, remove it from its original weld and add a, a lip. These have been powder coated. They're really nice. We added some pinstriping. As you can see with all the other cars that we are uh, amongst, you know, uh, mm -hmm. folks who are always uh, stepping up their game. Right. Competition. So we have a lot of competition out here. So. And what about the interior? Walk me there. Get the bag in there. Oh, you got, you got a nice. Look. So this is an original interior. You can see by the kind of some of the stains on the door panels. Uh, we wanted to replace them and maybe put these away in storage. Uh, maybe add an additional full carpeting, mm -hmm. uh, something nice for folks to see. It has a uh, rubber matting now. So what's the deal with the louvers? Folks love the louvers. Not everybody has these. You know, if you have your groceries in there, so you need something to keep it cool in the <laughs> South Florida weather, it'll kind of buffer out some of that heat. Can you show me the engine? So 
Yeah, I'll let him let me. Let's see here. All original? This is a 1200, all original. It has been converted. I guess I shouldn't say all original. It's been uh, converted to 12 volt. It okay. was the original 6 volt. Um, and that kind of helps out with the voltage of the car and the right. intensity of your lights. And, and I did get it that way. Uh, I don't have any plans to convert it back to 6 volt. Runs good? It runs great. Low and slow. Why a Volkswagen? Uh, I got the Volkswagen bug fever. When I was in high school, I had an old Camaro that I crashed, and my stepdad gave me a 73 Super Beetle. And I took it to um, auto shop in high school, and we worked on it there, and we got it kind of running and working. And ever since then, and this is about, what, 30 years ago? Ever since then, the, you, you never lose that, that fever. And when I had an opportunity to pick this up from a local mm -hmm. gentleman, I couldn't pass on the opportunity. So there's a lot of reminiscing when you drive it. I remember my stepdad, he's passed. I remember my youth when I drove it. I remember how easy it was to fix. My kids love it, my wife loves it. Most of the folks think it's pretty cool. I'm in good company. Volkswagen folks are really cool. You can't beat that. These Volkswagens, they all have their own character.
So if you guys like this video, please subscribe and share with your friends. It helps me to grow the page. Until next time, take care.